Hello everyone, my name is Fiat Alligators and welcome back to another video. Today, we will be talking about the top 3 most underrated guns in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now these are guns that I feel not a lot of people use but are very underrated because they are both powerful and, you know, good for all types of games. And I feel like people don't appreciate them as much, they just kind of gloss over them and think of them as like another one of the guns in these games. Or they go to the M4A1 or the MP5, but I think these guns are very, very good. So without further ado, let's get right into the guns. The first gun is going to be the M19 pistol. Now this gun always gets overshadowed by the M19. And that is because although the M19 has a slower fire rate, it has much more range and accuracy. But the problem with the M19 is even with the fast trigger, it only comes with a 15 round magazine at most. That means you run out of ammo very, very quick. The M19, on the other hand, can come with 32 round magazines. This makes it perfect for when you're trying to slide to get a camper and you can just fire and you can miss a lot of shots and still get them. And this gun is by far the best for the akimbo attachment. Because it has the fastest fire rate and also the most ammo. This makes it well suited for any sort of scenario when you need to use dual weld pistols. As far as class setup goes, I would recommend the XRKV extended barrel, the 5 milliwatt laser, the lightweight trigger, the 32 round magazine, and of course, akimbo. This will make you unstoppable on maps like Rust and Shipment. That is the first underrated gun, let's get into the second one. The second most underrated gun in Call of Duty Modern Warfare is the MG34. Now, you probably know what the MG34 it is. It's the last unlocked LMG, not counting the Holger, because you have to get that from the Battle Pass. The reason most people do not choose this is because it has a 50 round magazine and is the slowest out of all the LMGs. But this thing is so good for sustained fire when you get a 100 round magazine and have no stock or the close quarter stock. I also know a lot of people hate the regular iron sights on this gun. I do not blame them, they are horrible. But you can just easily put any sight on there and it will be a ton better. And, on top of that, this gun has by far the fastest fire rate in the LMG category. Also, with its damage, has a 3-4 to four shot kill, which makes it just as much shots to kill as the PKM. But, the PKM only has about half of that fire rate. And if you notice, I can have a ton of sustained fire, and I won't be kicking up too much with some grips. On top of that, if you equipped no stock or the close quarter stock, it helps the aim down sight speeds so much. Now this gun isn't for players who run around the map very aggressive, it's more for people who sit back, not like campers, I, well it is good for campers, but I would say it's very good if you just like running around and having fun. Because if someone gets right next to you, you can just spray them back and don't have to aim in, and if someone's long range because you have that 100 round magazine and you can equip a sniper scope on it, it is really good. Personally, this is the only LMG I use in the game. I do not use the PKM or the M91. I just found for attachments, you can make this far better than the PKM. Now, for class setup, I play this only in ground war. This is like my main ground war gun other than a sniper. So for this, you're going to want the TAC laser, the Merc foregrip, the 100 round belt, no stock, and the APX5 holographic sight. With the Merc, you will have a ton of control, and with the sight, you will have some good range, and the 100 round belt will give you twice the amount of ammo you come with started. I shouldn't say started, I should say more stock, but you get the point. On top of this, if you were watching the gameplay beforehand, you know it has, it has relatively slow ADS speeds, but it's not terrible. And with the fast fire rate and the control, this gun far outweighs the PKM. Now let's go from our number 2 gun to our number 3 gun. The third most underrated gun in Call of Duty Modern Warfare is going to be the EBR-14. Now a lot of people don't like this gun because what it was in the beta. In the beta of the game it had a very very weird flinch mechanic. But over various patches and fixes it doesn't really have that flinch mechanic anymore. On top of this it has a very fast fire rate and a 2 shot kill potential which means you can get a very, very quick kill with this gun. It also is a one-shot kill to the head. This makes this gun perfect for all types of players, for sniping players to rushing style players. 
Keep in mind, the way this list goes, number one, the M19 is the most underrated gun, while two is the second most, and this is the third most underrated gun. I feel like there are some people who use it that don't appreciate it as much as they should. Because you can get some really, really nice sniper shots. It's not going to be a one-shot kill most of the time because it's only a one-shot to the head kill. But if you get that follow-up shot on them, it is a very, very quick time to kill. For class setup on this thing, I recommend the TAC Laser APX5 Holographic Sight, which is the same as on the MG34, the Merc Foregrip for a control, 15-round magazine, and the FSS Rider Chassis Pro. I just realized I said Rider. Raider Chassis Pro. This will provide you with a good amount of ammo, control, and a good zoom. This makes it deadly for both close and far-range encounters. And that, my friends, is the top three most underrated guns in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Thank you to everyone who watched. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. It really helps the channel grow. That's going to do it for today, and I will see you all next time.